Widgets surely are one of the best new features in iOS 8. They are not at the same level as Android ones yet, but they represent a big improvement in the iOS ecosystem. In this video I'd like to talk about the 5 widgets I use the most, and why I like them. First, we have Evernote. This app is an everyday companion, and it can do almost anything you can think of when speaking of an app of its kind. It has been one of the first few apps to take advantage of the possibility of widgets, and although it's a really minimalist one, I find it really handy as it provides you with all the shortcuts you might need to take a note on the go. Text, photos and reminders are just a tap away. If you are not using SlideShare yet, this might be your chance. SlideShare is a platform where everyone can create, view and share presentations, and the subjects range from technology to business to psychology. Its widget is a handful showcase for the slides of the day, which will immediately bring you to the app and always make sure you never miss the best ones. To-do apps seem like a must-have these days, and their number is getting bigger every day. For our purposes, Wonderlist does the job pretty well, giving you the possibility to create lists, share them, set reminders and a few other things. It also comes with this widget that will show you all of the tasks due today, and check them on the go. Best of all, Wonderlist is completely free. Cheat Sheet is, as you might expect, another take notes on the fly widget, but I found that this one is the most handy for short amounts of text, and that's for two reasons. Number one, its minimalism makes it pretty fast. Number two, you can view all of them directly from the widget panel. Keep in mind, however, that it's not advisable to include sensible information, as it is accessible to anyone who uses your device. The last one for this video is Usage Widget. The name here speaks for itself, and the app is nothing more than the sole widget. You will be able to access information about Wi-Fi and data usage, storage availability and free RAM percentage, and you can also keep an eye on the CPU, all with a simple swipe. It's not a difficult task, and it will serve you just that, but I find it especially useful on a slower device like my iPod Touch. So these were the 5 widgets for today, expect another video with 5 more in a few days. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this, I'm Joe from the Nerd Herd and I'll see you next time.